Hey, what's up guys? It's T-Bone here and welcome back to another episode of playing Legend of Solgard. So this is our second episode for this game. And in the previous episode, I talked about creating a guild. Uh, if I got enough gold, I was able to do so. I created it uh, maybe a day after I made the video and immediately filled up. Uh, so it, you know, it, I didn't expect it because the guild actually didn't have any applications. There's no restrictions. Uh, when I set the minimum level to one, uh, a lot of people just join, which is fine. Uh, we have 20 out of 20, so there's 20 players here. And so unfortunately, it's full right now. Uh, but if you uh, keep an eye out, if you'd like to join uh, as soon as there, there's an opening, you know, please feel free to join at any time. And so there's a couple of things about the guild uh, play here that's a little different that I haven't been able to experience yet. And that is uh, you can to, you can actually do uh, guild bosses, but you can only do so at level seven. I'm currently at player level six, so I haven't yet experienced it, but a couple of our guild mates uh, are now level seven. So they're actually attacking a boss. So uh, good luck for that. And then also you can also, uh, there's a concept of donating gold in here. It's not requirement, but uh, I'm still just, you know, trying to figure out sort of um, you know how to best manage this. But the more you donate, the more buffs you can get. So we can see that the next buff we're going to get is plus two to our health. Uh, I'm not sure this will apply to solo campaigns or just in the guild. But, you know, uh, there's a lot of people donating right now and uh, we're, we're going strong. So this is really great. Now, there's a couple of things I wanted to do. Given that this is a second episode, uh, what I want to do is actually... Um, not focus on too much detail just yet. I wanted to just kind of uh, go through a little bit more of the lower, uh, sort of lower leveled, uh, you know, uh, play. You know, last time we did, I think, uh, level six and seven. Uh, this time I was thinking maybe do level 11, 12, and also talk about uh, some of the new things that I unlocked, right? So I was able to finish the first part of the campaign, uh, 40, uh, the first 40 levels, and then there was a second part to it. So I'm actually, I, act I haven't started that just yet, but it's a new map. So the first map is uh, Midgar, and the second one is uh, Jotunheim. And so this is, uh, you know, uh, something that we will definitely get to in the later episodes. But we will check out the treasure caves and maybe bounce as well in today's episode just because I think it's a lot of fun treasure uh, treasure cases are available uh, when you reach level five and bounties is available when you reach level six so let's go ahead and do another play here so as I mentioned right uh, as you play through you're going to unlock new uh, skills and new abilities which is a lot of fun to learn and so uh, let's go to level 11 so the thing I the thing is, uh, every five to ten levels, you can actually replay bosses. We're not going to play a boss right here. I might actually have um, maybe a later on an uh, sort of a series on how to defeat each of the sub bosses. I think that might be a lot of fun. But right now, let's go to level eleven, and you can see here I have uh, four different uh, creatures. I actually uh, have uh, unlocked a new yellow creature, a uh, crackle hoof, which is a beast type. And so the way this game works is you can't bring more than four creature types. You can only bring uh, one of each color. So if you unlock new uh, new creatures, you, you have to uh, make a decision on which one you bring in. So I'm going to bring in the Crackle Hoof and let's go ahead and play level 11. Let's see what kind of bosses we're going to uh, we're going to be hitting. And so you can see here there are these uh, little uh, light bomb looking things and that's exactly what it is they're actually bombs so that if you can attack them and, and break them uh you will uh deal damage to the surrounding uh area so um i guess actually it was already ready to go so it blocked it, it blew up all the um all the rocks so that's good now last time we learned how to build barriers that by you build barriers by creating uh you know putting three of them in a row and also, you learn we learn how to build uh, attack teams by putting them three in a column. And later on, you're also going to uh, unlock the ability to build different uh, types of um, attack teams. You can have a, a large, um, you can have a large creature. And I'm going to show you right now how that works. So um, if you double click on the character uh, on a creature you don't want, it will return to your hand. And then if you can then uh, put together a four, like a square, four in a row, this is what I'm going to do. You're going to create what you call a big creature. You can see it's much larger and it takes up two spots. Uh, so it can attack in both lanes, uh, both columns, and they have generally higher damage outputs. So that's, that's you know, if you can do that, uh, if you have opportunities to, uh, um, you know, to build up that uh, sort of setup, you should always try to do that because you, you get a lot more uh, damage that way. And it looks like we have a few wolves uh, coming in our way. And so let's see what we can do here. So um, 
I can't build any I can't build any uh, fences right barrier barriers right now but I can definitely um, I can get set up for it so let's go ahead and okay so you, you see what happened there is I was able to deal enough damage to the bomb uh, to take out all of the wolves there and in fact that's what I'm gonna do just build up a uh, team right there and in the middle lane there so that you can do attack these wolves have uh, two turn cooldown so you can uh, be ready you know you can prepare for that and I think we just need to then now focus on a couple of teams in the, uh, on the other side as well so I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, dwarf out so that I could uh, attack on the side because let's go ahead and do this and then move him over here the Crackle Hoof also has a two turn cooldown, so it does not attack as soon as you uh, create it. But every time you uh, wait a turn, it's going to um, actually, it's actually going to um, increase the damage as well. And so now I'm going to also have my net cast ready, uh, and I'm going to bring my dwarf here. So with this, uh, I was able. To, I'm going to be able to take down the 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 level pretty easily and then there's quests now too so i think once you unlock level five you'll be able to unlock quests so right now it's just if you win um you know if you defeat the quest five times you'll get a nice little chest and so here's the chest you get daily login you get these you can see these little quests and uh one of them says uh, to bound, go for a bounty hunter so let's go ahead and do that right now so we can go to play and we can check out bounties and right now this is going to be out far so let's go and check on see how we do now you get three tries you get three attempts uh you know when you play for you know uh fresh and it does um it does refresh afterwards but it takes i think about four hours to cool down so let's see if we have we should be able to do this so the goal is to defeat the, the enemy and the enemy has 14 hit points and we have 16. And it looks like we also have a little catapult uh, that's on our side right now. So I wanna try and protect it if I can. And to do that, I need to be able to build barriers. And unfortunately right now, uh, it looks like the only way I can build a barrier is through the bear here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy here so let's see what they do so yeah they're gonna so there's a uh, enemy there and so this is a little different so it's almost like you know player versus player and I do get a little bit of protection with the rocks in front there too so let's see what we get when we uh, summon more characters okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'm gonna build a big creature right here And you can see the um, the catapult will sort of tell you where it's going to attack next. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my I'm gonna go ahead and move my rough paw over here, and let's go ahead and summon more. Okay, good. I was able to um, I was able to create more attack teams. Now I'm gonna move my knight cast behind my uh, my big creature there, so I attack for two damage there. Okay. Ooh, they're getting set up there. All right, and I have another big creature right now. That's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the, the sides here. I'm going to boost up the Crackle Hoof and my um, Nightcast. And with that, I was able to deal enough damage to be able to take down the bounty relatively easily. So with that, I also uh, com completed my quest. So let's go and uh, continue and let's collect our rewards of 35 gold. And as you go up, you're going to get more and more uh, items here. So let's go and claim this and we get 75 experience points or sun points for experience. And that is the, the bounty right there. So um, you know, it's it, these these are you know a lot of fun things to play through right here, and you know as you play through, you are also going to be collecting a lot of shards, uh, a lot of gem parts. So you can see I'm you know getting close to actually um, unlocking some of them. So like Boomlin, I've, I've been getting a lot of, and uh, Rotbite is another one. Sun Mage, I'm pretty excited about that one. I'm not sure what she does, but um, you know she she's 
pretty cool. And there's also some like epics, epic type cards, and as well as uh, legendary cards. And there are some that are only available in uh, different levels. And so you can so you can see um, you know some of these are not available, but these are going to be the more powerful cards. And there's going to be more uh, available later on as well. Um, Another thing that I think is really cool is as you play through, you're going to get more items to uh, buff up your uh, your your creatures. And so you can see here, I have um, for my Crackle Hoof, I can increase the, the strength. So right now his strength is five. If I go and apply one, he'll go up to six. That means like by you know any time I create him as an attack creature, he'll have six attack to begin with, which is uh, which is really nice. So as you as your creatures get stronger, you can take on stronger and stronger heroes. Uh, let's see. And so there are some special events as well. This one is that I think it's it's something that you pay five dollars for, so I'm not gonna do that just yet. If you go back to the campaign here, um, you know, this is a lot of fun. Like, you know, you can see the stamina usage. Uh it, you get right now I have 45 stamina and I can actually play through quite a bit because as you're playing through, you're gonna level up a little bit and then you're gonna get more and more um stamina to play with. And so you can actually finish the first 40 levels pretty easily. So we did level 11 right there. And I think I'm going to uh, finish the episode by going through one other level just before another mini boss at level 14. And then we will call it uh, call it a day. And then we'll continue on playing a few, few episodes each time. And then we'll start talking about more tips and tricks. And uh, as I learn more, uh, things that we can do to, um, you know, increase our damage or just, you know, like some uh, better ways, more efficient ways to play, etc. And so first thing I always look for right now, just, you know, based on the way I'm playing, uh, ideally I'm, look, I'm looking for ways to build barriers because barriers, um, they're very important. If you don't build barriers, your minion, your creatures will die when they get attacked. And when they do, uh, you end up um, have you, you'll end up having to build them again. And so that's something to, to think about. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, first build up my attack team. Oops. So you can see my uh, Crackle Hoof starts with a uh, six damage because of my uh, power up that I just did earlier. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to attack the uh, the bomb in the middle. And you can also see that there is a um, there are these jars in the middle lane there. If you can uh, if you can blow them up, they give you additional um, you know uh, treasures. So they're always good to go for if you can. Okay, let's go ahead and build another barrier just to protect ourselves a little bit. Okay, so you can see I got I got some gems there uh, for a uh, unit there. All right, um, let's go ahead and build a team here. And when you have a attack creature, if you uh, then add more of its type behind it, you will get um, you know you'll you'll get they'll get more attack bonus. So always uh, look for ways to do that. Now let's see. Okay, good. So I got my uh, rough paw there, um, and I think I can't build a team right now, but I can do an attack. I earned a uh, um, I earned something like a relic of some sort uh, that gave me. A, it's called a sun spear that gives me just a free damage to uh, to any boss uh, anytime. And so that that was kind of nice. I can't remember where I earned it, but it was pretty early on in the in the campaign. So with that, we earned uh, we earned Rot Bite and uh, Tusker Gem. Okay, so you can unlock them once you get them. So I'm just kind of building up these these gem uh, shards to unlock more characters. So that's pretty much it for for the second episode here. Um, you know, I'm I'm playing a little bit slow because I also want to make sure that people get a chance to uh, sort of see the gameplay and not overwhelm with too much information. We're gonna in the next episode we're going to start exper uh, sort of exploring higher levels. Uh, in the 20s and 30s and also if i'm at level 7 by then we'll talk about uh sh sort of show how the guild boss works as well so please let me know your feedback let me know your thoughts on this game uh, I, I i enjoy this game a lot it's a, it's a very friendly uh, family friendly game i really enjoy playing uh, games like this uh, i can you know enjoy this with other people and little kids are welcome to play as well uh, so it's just something that i think is a lot of fun so anyways, uh, that's all for today's episode. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for your feedback. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.